Welcome back to part four of the Lies! You liar, it's part five. What a liar, don't trust this guy. Yes, we're back in Alan's workshop today and we are going to get this quarter, hopefully in a good position to tack weld on um, and get it in a position to paint. Um, before we get into this video, a massive shout out to the Massey family. I hope I said that right, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Um, they contacted me in one of the recent video, mini videos um, and sent me a spare key and some additional paperwork. So thank you very much. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does. Okay, I'm actually gonna pause the video here just to take another moment out to thank the Masseys. Um, so I've been speaking to Lewis on Instagram. This mini is his brother's car. So um, no one was hurt in the incident, which is really good. Um, so the backstory is, that at 3 a.m. sometime in September, a drunk driver plowed into this Mini and also Lewis's car. I'm not sure what that car was, um, but yeah, he took out obviously the rear quarter and rear suspension and wheel on, on this Mini. Um, here's a few photos of literally a few moments after the incident took place. And it looks like from these photos that it was a Jaguar that plowed into these cars and it looks like it lost its front wheel. Um, thankfully, no one was injured, and also um, the guy was apprehended by the police, and obviously everything went for insurance. So that's a really, really interesting backstory. It just sort of helps me understand what happened because it looked a bit strange to me. It looked like potentially that this car had hit another car's wheel, etc. And that is the case, but the mini wasn't driving, and no one was injured. So thank you again very much for sharing that information, Lewis, and and the Masseys. So really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Anyway, back to the video. Oh, that's really good. So thank you very much. Anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck into this today. Okay, so before we get into this recap, so the last two videos, we took the rear quarter off this one, and then we took the rear quarter off the donor car outside. And we're in a position where we've just literally placed it on here. Um, we've got some gaps. Can you see that gap just there? Um, that we need to get back out um, to a reasonable place so we can bond these two panels together. Um, if we can't pull that out, we'll just grab some bits off the donor car out the back there. Um, but yeah, that's where we are and let's carry on. Okay, so what we're doing here, um, obviously the inner panel um, is in a bit, so we're gonna give it a pull. Um, to see if we can get it out a little bit um, using some dozer clamps and a big long bar there. Um, if we can't get it out, we're going to go over to the, the cat bee, the donor panel, the donor car out the back there in the freezing cold and nick a bit off that. So fingers crossed we can get it out with this. Yeah. <laughs> this is some old school techniques, but they work. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. We'll get the pull there now. Yeah, this is a thin little bit. Sam, mm -hmm. I actually think I'm just going to give up. I think I'm going to cut it through there. Yeah. Because, I, truthfully, right, it, it'll pull, but I think it's going to be all shapes. So I think we're going to we'll cut through there, cut down through there, split through there, take that bit out. Yeah. And do the same outside, split off the other one. Yeah. And put a couple of nice fresh bits in. Because that's in the right place. Yeah. That's not in. And then we're in all in the right place, all nice new metal. Okay. That sounds good to me. Yeah. <clears throat> and it won't take too long to whip it off that car out there either, will it? Nope. Okay, so we've made a decision that we we don't really want it looking horrible in here. Um, and it's probably gonna be easier just to whip this off here um, and go 
get a bit from outside, so let's do that. Get the old chair set up. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. I think it'll just be neater, tidier, nice and straight. We're trying. We're trying to save some of it. There's no point in saving. See in there now, can't you? Yeah. It's got a little, little, little crease in there. That's a pull out, or isn't it? Or I've just put a bit in here. Yeah. I think that bit there, I think we would have drill, drill off there. Yeah. Okay, so we're um, <coughs> we're taking that panel out. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna drill out the spot welds, or what I like to say is unspot weld. <laughs> Really? That's a chassis rail, isn't it there? That's nice uh, and straight. Right. Yeah, everything everything is alright. It's <laughs> literally just like the outer bits. Cool. <laughs> Thankfully, not yeah. like the range. Yeah. Oh man, that was poorly. There we go, we're chopping out all the bad metal, all the bent metal on this. Um, yeah, it's looking religious, very holy. <laughs> I know you appreciate that joke, Carl, didn't you? Yeah. What a joke that was. <laughs> so, we are going outside in the freezing cold. What is it, minus one, is it? Yeah, I think so. Minus one. Yeah, there's a bit of a wind chill, so probably like minus six. We're going out here to obviously move this car. Um, but we're going out here to just steal a lot of that panel there. Oh, I can't tell you how cold it is. Coffee break. <laughs> You'd have to put, you, but you could do it because you could like, wouldn't you start to like pick that bit off and that? I, I think, you know, I mean, we've done some quite involved stuff. Even this is quite involved, but you know, when you start putting all these in. Is that, they, they just go into there, right? Yeah, I think so. I think, but the trouble is it's got a second one inside and you've got, you've got to get it between the two. Yeah. We could go right in, but I think to be honest, I think it'd be a lot easier not to. Okay, so we've we've cut out all the sort of bent metal out of this one, so we're going to the the Cat B Mini outside and just chopping some bits out of that. Let's go. I, I suppose that I'd, like, what do ups, what, what would other people in the industry consider this as the type of? Well, most people like me, I think it's better than leaving a load of bent metal in there. Yeah, that's my opinion. I think you're better off sometimes cutting it out and maybe putting some pretty. Oh, bits no, it doesn't in. even sit. Doesn't even touch there. No, I didn't even know that. What do you no. mean for you? 
You know, I think it's it's not sometimes nicer to spread it out and put some prettier bits in. That is a load of broken mm. bent metal in there, and just put a panel over the top. So this is this is what this is what the mini looks like out here internally. So it's got like it's got creases here anyway, and there that are in there on purpose. Mini has been sacrificed. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Hey. Okay, if you say he's taking a big lump off the busted up Mini out here, um, we're going to get it inside because it is minus one here. Whilst the sun is out, there is a bit of wind as well, so it's, it feels like minus five. So we're going to take it inside, finesse it, and get it on the other mini, hopefully in this episode. Okay, so a bit more involved than I initially anticipated. Um, nothing major, we tried to pull this out um, and really decided really quickly that it just looked too scruffy. Um, so we've cut bits of this out at the moment and um, cut bits out of the donor car out there. Um, we're just getting things lined up and make sure everything's in the right place, right? Um, and then we're gonna take most of this off, put it all back together. Um, unfortunately, it's the end of the weekend now and obviously I'm working during the week so Alan's going to do a lot of that off camera and I'll join back um, in a few moments because I'm going to join these two videos together, join back in a few moments and see how far we've got on throughout that week. So I'll see you in a week's time but re in reality in two seconds. One, two. Okay, it's uh, midweek and we're just pulling up because um, I need to get a bumper for the Range Rover, yes. I'm in the Range Rover. Um, someone's bought that, so I just need to pop over to Adams because he's storing a bumper there. But also while we're here, we can check in on the Mini as well. Um, so let's just park this. Look how good it's looking. Afternoon, afternoon. How's it going? All right? Yeah, you do, sir. All good, all good. How's it going, Al? In. <laughs> hey. The in is in. Oh, wow. Literally perfect time, I've just been grinding it up. Good job I called Ed, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Literally just around the last bit up. Decent. Inner wing is in. That looks yeah. much better, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm glad we didn't pull it out. It's tidier, isn't it? Yeah, that looks... It's really cool. I'll brush it with a bit. Of, I'll give it a bit of seal in. Yeah. I know some of it will get burnt off, but I'll give it a bit of aerosol prime. Give it a bit of seal around here. So looking to cool. In there. We're gonna be in a good position for the weekend then. Quarter will be on tomorrow. Oh, decent. That's where I wanted to get to today. Quarter on tomorrow. Grand on up by tomorrow night. Oh. So next time I see you, hopefully the quarter will be on. Yeah. This is all midweek, and then at the weekend we'll be in a position to get it ready for prep for paint. See you then. Okay, we're back. It's the next weekend and Alan's been busy on the mini during the week. Uh, before we get into this, uh, change your clothes. Hey, work trousers. Anyway, let's have a look at what Al's been up to whilst I've not been here. So um, during the week, uh, he managed to repair the inner structure um, by obviously cutting about out the donor car. Um, and then we've got the rear quarter welded on. So later in this week or the next episode, and um, that quarter is obviously going to be painted. So what I'm going to do today is I need to put a new brake line on. Because um, if you remember from the first video, when we was pulling this apart, 
um, <clears throat> the brake line's pinched. And obviously we've got the, the donor car out here. That we're gonna nick that from. But unfortunately, that brake line goes all the way around the car, all the way under here, through here, um, and goes to the servo, wherever that may be. I'm not sure exactly where that is just yet. Um, which means I've got to get that donor car lifted up in the air um, to trace back the brake line and then do exactly the same on this. So that's going to be very entertaining for you guys. <laughs> Not. Anyway, without further ado, let's start that. Okay, so we're outside and I need to steal that brake line there and that brake line goes under the car, under the car, under the car, all the way up to in here. You can see here, all the way back under there and under the car. Um, so, first thing first is get the car up in the air. Oh, yes! 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 The brake line doesn't go all the way to the front of the car. Thank. It joins just up over here. So, look, here is the brake line. Goes up there and look where it joins. It's either that one or that one. I'm so thankful that I don't have to do it all the way back to the front of the car. So, this is gonna be a quicker job than initially anticipated. Here we are, and this is the culprit that I'm replacing. It's just pinched in there, so I've got to undo that, trace it all the way back down there, and take it off the joint around there. Hopefully not too long, um, but let's carry on with the time lapse. Trying to wrestle this out. Yes. Okay. So obviously that one was easy because it's broken at this end. Let's just take a look at them. Okay. This one I've bent to pieces. <laughs> so thread this back through. Okay, so I'm just putting this rear end back together. So if you remember from episode three, um, I sort of bodged the back end um, here um, because I needed one of these bolts. I just rescued this. We're gonna say rescued from the donor car outside. Uh, so let's get all this off.
Okay, so that's it for this episode. Um, we've got a lot done. Um, so we have, over the course of two weeks, two and a half weeks, um, taken the rear quarter off the car outside. Um, we've pulled the inner arch out here. Um, we went to repair it and it was pretty crap and we didn't want it to look scruffy in there. So we chopped a bit out of the donor car, put that back in here. Um, and then Alan, during the week, has um, welded all that up and put the rear quarter on. The rear quarter fits great. Um, and today what I've done is really sort out the, the suspension, change the brake lines and get it in a position where it's ready for paint. So the next episode on this is, hopefully, it's gonna be completed um, and painted. I'm not gonna be able to get the painting process done because Andy, the paint guy, um, he does it during the week. So if I could pop in during the week on my lunch break, I will do. Um, but if not, the next time you see this, the rear quarter is gonna be done and I'm gonna be reassembling it all and hopefully get it on the road. See you then.